Hey, what's up everybody? XJoe81X here. In the words of JK18, holy dick. Thank you. Goodbye. Okay, what we have here is a uh, my <clears throat> uh, Kenmore 80 series wash machine that of course you have seen. Or if not, stop what you're doing right now and go through my previous videos and watch. This is something that you shouldn't be seeing. This should be covered nice, like this. So, long story short, my fiance does laundries uh, Sunday and Monday while she's off, no problem. Everything Sunday, Monday came and went. Tuesday, uh, I came home from work, or Wednesday, depending. I think Tuesday. She's doing a little bit of, um, <clears throat> excuse me, She's doing some little things, no big deal. She says, hey Joe, there's water downstairs. There's water downstairs, from what? The wash machine. Okay, let's come home, I come home, I'm doing something at Jay's house, I come home and now picture the cover on, so the cover sits like this, and then I'm coming over here and I see, oh, you know, here's some water um, spots. I said, oh, maybe something's clogged, you know, after I've been in the house since December. You know, we cleaned it recently. Maybe it's just some shit. All right, so let me put down all the, you know, necessary stuff that I have. Towels that are used to be stacked all the way up to the shelf. Now we're all here. Okay, let me bring this out a little bit. Let me tilt it towards the back of the wall. And then I notice something dripping. Something that's missing. What's missing? Bueller? Bueller? <laughs> uh, in all honesty, the pump is missing. It's upstairs. I'll go get it, of course, because I forgot to. So let me just tell you the quick synopsis. So now it's dripping. You have this pump that sits on the shaft that, when this, what do you call it, calls for it, it spins, it goes through this big tube, and then it goes out the small tube, and then it goes up and over. And then the centrifugal force pushes it out, and then it goes this way. We're not talking about that pipage. <laughs> so, and then it starts dripping, you know. Sound like a pencil. So I'm putting my hand behind it. I really can't decipher what's going on. After deciphering and whatever, it turns out that I guess this shaft goes into a piece of plastic, which I'll show to you now. Um, um, let's get this out of the way. We don't want to break this thing. <laughs> Let's get this out of the way. So uh, it started dripping. <clears throat> Excuse me. It started dripping, and I came to the conclusion that the bearing or the rubber seal behind the um, motor, the pump, excuse me, failed. Maybe. I mean, we'll eventually have to order some and take it from there. So. I said okay so I said I'm on the phone with Jay I pick up you know I put a couple of things in there and I, it fills up a couple inches it's dripping I said yeah it's compromised no problem so sad too bad so then I go and move this hose out of the way and incidentally I'm like oh, let me drain this shit who cares and it starts pissing now that hole is this is nothing this is this is not what happened this is me trying to take it off which I found out Oh. Okay, please hold. Sorry, back to our regular program. So what I was saying is because this pipe went around underneath the thing now that it's compromised, ah, excuse me, it was doing this and this is the way it sits, give or take, and what was happening was it was in the way, so I must have moved it and then oh, over the years, it's even giving me a hard time now. Over the years, I guess I just created a pinhole over here, but then I tried to remove it, and it doesn't let you. It's just like completely, I guess these are two separate pieces, it's two of the same pieces, because there's a part number on there that I'll show after I disconnect it, if I can. So uh, I got the pump while I was on the phone with uh, somebody, and the pump sits like this. Sits on the shaft. This sits in there, obviously it matches up. Excuse me, obviously it matches up. And obviously I don't have to tell you the semantics of the pump. 
it pushes it and a centrifugal force I'm sure correct me if I'm wrong when the tub spins it's got nowhere to go except the factory hole so it goes through the top it the shaft helps it this black thing in here that you can't see that good and it pushes it out the bottom and as long as this thing is still pumping it's just like any uh, any regular pump whether it's a boiler system or not it's just going to keep pumping until it goes somewhere so obviously it comes out the back and it comes out this black thing and then it comes up and this is where mine is hopefully one day it'll change so I just want to let everybody know that I basically went online and scrambled and I ordered the pump well a, a new old stock I guess <laughs> from amazon.com and I ordered a new white piece from a guy on eBay so I'm pending uh, I'm pending those shipments so right now it just kind of sits here as a workspace the light is obviously for just extra lumens so the camera could really show you in effect the towels and everything was just because this entire thing has been compromised and that's just for drippage you know basically there's always water so basically that's it everybody hopefully the next video you watch is me replacing it with all the parts and if there's any hiccups you know we'll be live so, uh, you know, hit like, hit subscribe, and we'll see you in the next video.